very good evening my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new video from extreme trader this is the last speaking today's video was supposed to be another live trading session using the 20 pips a day however i thought it's really much much more important to record a video showing you how what should we do with the lost trade how should we handle a trade when we are losing now of course it's so nice when we are doing the live trading videos uh, all the trades most likely they are going in profit sometimes we are losing but however that is the major question on this channel Salah what should we do when the trade is going in loss against us and really I think this is much more important topic and we have to cover it in this video so now before we proceed with talk talking about what to do about handling the loss of trade we need to agree on few things first let's agree on these things first number one nothing is happening or let me just rephrase that nothing is mandatory gonna happen um, as per the rules like for example when we are saying that a certain level is going to be breaking out and the, no the normal behavior of the candle is after breaking out from the resistance is to go up here going down retest the broken resistance and then is gonna reverse going more up so in general this is the normal behavior of the candles once they break any when you have a resistance and the candle break out from this resistance level the normal behavior is the market is going to retest the broken level and then most likely the retest will go, will work and the market will continue its bullish momentum that is the normal behavior however that is not not gonna happen every single time there will be so many occasions so many scenarios where you will see the broken the resistance is never gonna be retest, retested and the market was, will just gonna either continue flying more up without even retesting the level or the market will actually fall down and continue falling more down so that is number one let's agree on it that there is nothing mandatory gonna happen as per the rules number two one second Yes, number two is never ever regret your decision. Never ever regret your decision. Now the reason I type that is because some people actually regretting when they are closing the trade in the loss. When they see the trade going against them and they are assuming that the market did not move as the normal behavior, they will close the trade with the loss. Then they will check it out later after a few hours and they will say, oh, if I if only I kept the trade running I lost money there was no need to you to lose that trade why did I close that trade oh my god oh, oh that is not gonna work you should never ever they, we have to stop this mentality you have to agree that never ever regret your decision because remember always keep in mind that since you are regretting to close the trade there was also a chance you will regret not closing it so in either way you are going to regret so regret with the minimum losses uh, better than just increase your losses do you know what i mean the whole point is never regret your decision because you are doing the right thing and number three <clears throat> forex market never moves based on um let me just uh, be sure i'm typing the correct terms on uh mm, nothing um forex market never moved never moves based let me just rephrase it one second okay that's better uh, forex market never risk never respect all the levels all the time and that is very important to mention because what we are talking about here is that you are assuming for example that when you are seeing a resistance number one or a support number one you are assuming that definitely the strategy is very good and 100% sure there will be a resistance number two or sorry a support number two and you see the trade keep going against you and still going against you and you are still hoping come on where is the reversal it's gonna happen it will happen however uh, that's not gonna happen necessarily so we have to understand uh, forex market never respect all the levels and let's put 100 lines under all the times because all of the times meaning you have to be selective about your trading time you cannot for example for example you cannot trade the gold you cannot sell the gold 
when it's going up because because of the potential war between USA and uh, Iran. There is a, a news about a potential war, uh, third uh, world war, which is uh, I honestly personally I don't believe it's going to happen. However, you cannot, for example, sell the gold uh, at this moment just because it's uh, hitting the resistance level. You have to be selective about your trading time and what currency you are selling. Um, again, it's really important which currency you are selling and buying depending on the current news and events in the world. It's all playing a major role in making the levels being respected or not. So however, now that being said, all these three uh, keys we are talking about, nothing is mandatory going to happen as per the rules. Uh, never ever regret your decision and forex market never respect all the levels all the time that means every strategy has a winning ratio and in my opinion uh, 20 pips a day and uh, hit and run it has in my expectation 85 percent winning ratio now we are relying on this high winning ratio because that means out of 10 trades you can lose two or maximum three trades if you are following the rules and you are selecting the pairs carefully now the thing here is when we are losing a trade when you see the trade going against you there are two options that you can actually follow in this scenario now when you are doing a 20 pips a day strategy let's let's just put the rules here 20 pips a day how to decide when we are losing the trade how to decide close with loss you have two options option number one is you can select as you are selecting your profits to be at 20 pips you can select your losses to be as well 20 pips so that will limit your losses max as maximum as possible so instead of earning 20 pips you will lose 20 pips and that is more fair and that is a, there is a reason because I'm saying that I'm not just saying randomly uh, since you are going to hit uh, 20 pips profit except the 20 pips loss there is a reason I'm saying that the whole strength or the power of 20 pips a day strategy is based on the bounces the bounces of these candles that is what I'm relying on uh, let me just show you for example if I'm not mistaken uh, let's go for the one hour chart I believe I saw it here somewhere uh, pound and ZD maybe uh, yes here for example we are seeing the pound and ZD here we are seeing here that there is a resistance number one that is resistance number one now looking at the chart uh, the naked eye or actually the unprofessional eye they will see that the rule has been broken here and they say if you place sell here and assuming there will be a resistance number two most likely you have lost the trade because the market continued to go more up this resistance has been breaking out and the has been broken out and the market just continued to go more up here going down again retesting this level and now this resistance is support that is what the unprofessional eyes is gonna say that the strategy has failed in this scenario however did it really fail remember that this is a four hour chart let's go deeper in these candles now let's go to the 30 minute time frame let's see the one we are saying or assuming it has failed so this is the chart on the 30 minute time frame let me just reduce this one and by the way there is a reason for this trade here going in loss and i forgot to mention that this is today demo account this is not a real account because I'm not crazy to go and uh, showing you how to handle losses trade in my real account. I just want to make a demonstration about how to show you how to handle the trade when it's going and loss. And I lost this trade intentionally just to show to you what will can happen. Anyway, so uh, going to the 30 minute time frame, we can see clearly here that we have here a resistance number one and check it out. Resistance number two has approached here and following my rules if you enter your trade on this resistance you have to exit your trade at the nearest resistance or support now when the candles were growing this way here where was the nearest support or resistance the nearest support or resistance is of course this level right here right here wait 
just like that that is the nearest resistance it's right here or you can say this one here by the way all of them work either that one or that one this is a resistance and this is the breakout candle and therefore the nearest resistance to this resistance here is just this previous resistance and we can see how the market has respected this resistance level and the candles has reversed going down so this is pound in the D and if we are looking for the 20 pips a day strategy look how many pips we can we could have gotten from that one almost 43 pips from that trade and if we followed the rules correctly we could have gotten about 31 or 32 pips of profit after that the market continued to move up breaking the resistance so so that is the strength of the 20 pips a day that we are just after the bounces these bounces these shocks from the from the resistance if you notice all of my trades i'm not keeping it long time and even the take profit level i never actually use it R rarely i'm rarely using the take profit level because i want to keep my eyes on the trade all the time since i place my trade here i'm just waiting for the shock that the market is gonna reach this level and then ah, uh, it's gonna reverse it's gonna make a small bounce and then it's gonna continue going more up this bounce here is what making me making a living from forex this is the profit i'm seeking in forex this bounce the shock from the candle once i see this shock is giving me enough money i will just close the trade and i really don't care what will gonna happen later most likely the market is gonna continue falling more down making me regret closing the trade however i i stop this mentality i don't regret anymore since i get out with the trade with profit so that is one of the options how you can exit the trade is just set your profit uh, set your stop loss to be 20 pips and again this strategy has a very high winning ratio so most likely if you are following the rules correctly if you are applying the rules um, and you are accurate in selecting your pairs most likely you are going to recover the losses uh, very soon and therefore this strategy is going to have a high winning ratio for you and you are going to make in the end good profit even so you are losing one trade you can lose the next three or four trades even five trades if you are just waiting for the right moment to enter your other trades now to the option number two which is going to take a whole actually a long time talking about in this video option number two price action uh -huh. now this is the topic which everyone i think is waiting for what is the price action what we are talking about here what do we mean by waiting for the price action to confirm that this trade is going in loss now let me tell you something uh, if you are trading with high lot size or applying the 20 pips a day strategy this option is most likely not really recommended because 20 pips a day strategy is based on daily four hour and one hour candles and you really don't want to see the price action going against you in the four hour chart or the one hour chart that's gonna cost you a lot of money so let me just rephrase that for the 20 pips a day strategy it's much better to apply this option here but if you are uh, hard-headed or if you are really uh, don't care about losing a lot of money sometimes but then in the end um you are going actually to have a higher winning ratio in my opinion because your losses are going to be rare so you need to rely on the price action to decide that your trade is going in loss and by hard-headed trader i mean that you are seeking big profit you don't want 20 pips you want even 100 pips so you look at that the market here fall down from the support it's it went for almost 200 pips those people who want these profits or they want to earn these uh, pips they have to take the risk as well so talking about the price action here when we see a price action the price action of the candle that we are talking about is completely a breakout candle from the level now the breakout candle can be identified as a complete long bar breaking out from the resistance for example this is a resistance and we see one green candle full bar approaching and breaking out this previous resistance here and most likely most of the times there will be no wicks or tails at the bottom or top of this candle or it will be very small wick and top uh, and uh, tail for example this one here 
if you see a candle like that breaking completely breaking out from the from the resistance that is the time you have to decide to close to close with red with the loss but however let me just don't rush because this is really sensitive topic you have to wait for this candle to actually close and that is the hardest part because this actually might cost you a lot of pips i am aware about the risk uh, about the fear people are having when they are using this strategy because it has somehow gambling when you are applying the closing the trade based on the price action if you are trading with big lot size you are now gambling why i need to put this right in the right way so when you see the candle breaking out on this level if you remember from my old videos i always told you to continue analyzing the trade don't stop yes you see the candle is going against you now the market is reversing uh, sorry the market now is breaking out this resistance you placed your sell order right here on this resistance level and you waited here for a resistance number two so this was a resistance number one you placed your trade right here on resistance number two but the market is going against you what should you do now now there is two options here you can do now first one you have to actually the first thing you have to do is wait for the candle to close don't decide anything until the candle close because looking at that for example look at the candle here imagine if somebody saw this resistance here and this is a resistance number one and he saw the market here on resistance number two and he placed his sell order what he will see at that time when he opened the trade he will see that the market is actually uh, now as a full green bar the market is going against me oh my god oh no i'm losing the trade but because he did not wait for the candle to close what happened the candle was actually performing a pin bar and he rushed to close the trade and in the end he lost money for no reason because he rushed to close the trade once he see the candle going against him that's why you there is no way that you will know that this candle is gonna close as a pin bar or as a full bar it will close as a pin bar or a full bar so how do you know you cannot know you have to wait for the market to close that's what, sorry the candle to close so please number one is don't rush to close your trade unless you see the candle closes as a complete bar breaking from the resistance number two the normal behavior that is the reason I talk about this the first part here nothing is mandatory gonna happen as per the rules now the normal behavior when any level being breaking out is for the market to actually reverse later and retest the broken level that is happening I would say 80% of the times that's why I told you when you see the trade is going against you don't stop analyzing continue analyzing the market so when you see once you see that the market has broken out from this resistance keep following the candle so the candle closed like that now you can close the trade with the loss because it's a breakout candle however if you really want to take more risk and you don't mind uh, losing more money in case it you went wrong you can see that here we have a resistance level and therefore this resistance is gonna keep its position as a resistance right here so you can expect now another reversal to happen right on this level now if you see any another reversal happen right on this level you have to wait for the market to go down retest the broken resistance and that way you have to close your trade here minimizing the losses to the maximum don't get greedy don't assume that the market now is going down and it's gonna give me profit you have to accept the losses i have to write it down accept the losses please let's make it a mentality here that you are not gonna win every single trade you are not not gonna win every single day sometimes you are going to lose but what we are doing here we need to minimize your losses to the maximum and that way is to accept the losses if you don't accept the losses there is no way to stop you the only way to stop you is gonna be wiping out your account blowing your account will be the only way to stop you from trading so you have to accept the losses you have to accept that sometimes you will be losing the trade that's why when you see the market actually going down retesting this broken resistance close the trade with the losses just accept it don't fight with it and if we are going to follow the history 
we can see that this happened almost all the time even here this resistance level after breaking out from this resistance the market went down retesting this level uh, this support here when the market break out from this support here the market went up again retesting the level because we have here another support level uh, <clears throat> you name it I mean it's gonna happen almost all of the time I don't know if we have time to uh, see more examples right here and there uh, I just need to pause the video guys for a few seconds hold on Okay, so as I said, you can see that it happened so many times almost everywhere. But however, again, I have to mention that this is not really ideal for the 20 pips a day strategy. You can apply that on the hit and run strategy. Because on hit and run, you can apply that on the 15 minute time frame. And let me just uh, try to find another pair just to show you, for example, uh, on the 15 minute time frame, if you see the candle is going against you, you are not going to lose too much because the power of uh, pips, uh, sorry, uh, about hit and run is to earn like five, six, seven pips uh, only per trade because it's a pure scalping. So, for example, we are seeing that we are having here this level, and I'm just giving you an example, guys. So, when you see the market here, for example, you are seeing this, you are assuming this is support number one, and you place your buy order. Uh, sorry sell order uh, yeah buy order right here assuming this is a support number two so you have to keep analyzing the market and see what again what happened see this candle by candle so you can see that you place your buy order right here what happened is the market breaking out this level and we have now a candle this one has broken out from this support level what happened next the next candle went down all the way until it hit this previous resistance and then the market reverse going up and now this support is became the new resistance this is where you should close your trade with the loss at this point here this is the retest i talked about and that is actually if you didn't do it and you can you close your trade right here for example you are just losing seven pips only and that's why applying this method is gonna work only on the 15 minute time frame when you are doing the hit and run strategy while you are on the 20 pips a day it's highly advised to actually use the uh, losses to be as as well 20 pips now again now we talked about the price action uh, we need to just talk about what kind of candles we need to look for in the 15 minute time frame so the the candles that i'm talking about I think I said that many times, but I need I need to explain it again. Um, let me just zoom in more. I just need to find a good example, and this is the one of the candles that I am talking about. That once you see a candle like that, full bar, completely breaking out from the level with tiny small wicks at the bottom or the top, you have just to either close the trade with the loss or wait for the market to go retest the level again. Um, and again, we need to go back to the first thing we agreed on in the beginning of the video. Uh, Forex market never respect all the levels all the time and nothing is mandatory gonna happen as per the rules. Now, actually saying that, we need to find a, a, permanent, um, a permanent rule to rely on in case we are losing a trade. That's why, let me just make it more simple and more clear for you. When we are doing the 20 pips a day strategy, accept your losses with 20 pips only as well when you are doing hit and run use the price action to decide on uh, the price action let me just make it on 15 minute time frame use the price action on 15 minute time frame to decide your loss and the price action you need to look for is a complete bar breaking the level such as this one here for, for example we had here a resistance level and once we see this bar here completely breaking out from the level it's the time to close the trade with the loss you if you see any bar full bar like that or with a tiny small wicks at its bottom and top or or by the way this is another example i need to talk about uh, for example if you are on a resistance level so this is a resistance level and you see one candle here appeared with no wicks at the bottom and just one long long uh, uh, wick 
at the top this is another uh, another form of the price action that indicates the market now most likely is not gonna reverse and is gonna continue its bullish momentum not this candle I'm talking about um, frankly speaking this candle right here this candle right here that is one of the examples and you can see how the market just continued falling more down after appearing of this breakout candle so let me let me draw them for you one, one second all right so this is much more clear example uh, when you see any resistance level and for example the resistance level is laying just right here of course my friends sorry maybe i didn't give a space however if you see the candle either like that a full bar breaking out from the level uh, again that is all guys on the 15 minute time frame 15 minute time frame uh, that is only for hit and run let me just write it down that is only for hit and run uh, when you see a full bar or, or when you see a full bar candle with these small wicks at the bottom and the top or if you see a long candle with one long wick at the top and no tail at the bottom at all that's indicating that this level most likely has been breaking out with almost no hope of a reversal and most likely it's gonna hard to be uh, retested again uh, vice versa the same for the support level when the support level is breaking out we have to look for this red candle red full bar candle or red full bar candle with a small uh, wick at the bottom and the top or this long wick here with the long wick at the top at the bottom of course the wick is ha has to be medium size um, not long wick for example not like that that is not gonna work that is not considered as a breakout candle and that actually actually this one means the market most likely is gonna reverse this one here the one here I'm talking about most likely this one indicates that the market is most likely going to reverse so that is what I was talking about now let me just uh, show you in the end this uh, trade I have entered here and let's see for example this is a trade on the CAD JPY and as you can see what happened here is very interesting now I placed the sell order right here for example I don't remember maybe here or here anyway what happened is the market just co kept going against me and I was losing the trade what is the thing that you are actually notice in this scenario right here neither of this can of this of this candle on the resistance level seems to be a complete breaking out this uh, breaking out from the resistance not this one here this one I know we just talked about it I'm talking about this resistance level right here this resistance this resistance here what happened uh, the price action this one here price action is indicating that the market is going to reverse that is number one of course I think most of you guys who are following me they know that this candle here is one of the most price actions I believe that the market is going to make a bearish reversal after its appeal not only that we can see this candle as well has appeared right here indicating that this level must uh, or this candle is going to actually make now a bearish reversal so not seeing any single price action indicating that the market will be breaking out now I can close the trade also I can keep the trade running because uh, I didn't see any price action indicating now that this candle is actually uh, also I didn't see any price action indicating that the market is going to continue its bearish uh, bullish momentum if I saw here for example instead of this if I see a long a long uh, green bar or if I see a long candle with long wick at the top that's indicating that the market most likely is going to break out from this level and I have to close the trade with the loss however that did not happen and that therefore the market just now reversing and you can see right now this trade is no more in loss and you can either close it with the break even or with a small profit so that is a good example I really hope uh, that I was able to deliver to you the best idea about what to do when the trade is going against you and if in case you are doing the 20 pips a day strategy use that uh, the opposite which is 20 pips loss and if you are on scalping hit and run just use the price action as I showed you in this video 
Uh, I know it's a long video, but however, I really think it was really important video. If it wasn't clear for you guys, please let me know. I will make another uh, video about it because this is must. This is the most important topic on the channel. There is no point on making these videos on my channel without explaining what should we do when the trade is going in loss. So please, you can share in the comments your opinion. If you don't understand this or if you feel that you need more explanation about it, let me know. I will make another video dedicated completely about price action so we can understand better how to read these candles. So in the end, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.